water clarity aim to collect water samples from two different sources and study them for clarity materials required cardboard box with two holes opposite to each other river water and tap water we can take water from any other source also in the cardboard box i have made two holes and these two holes are on opposite side and exactly opposite to each other so that when the light is thrown from one side it can be observed from the other side first we will place the first beaker that is the containing the river water inside the cardboard box and we will throw light from one side through the hole and observe it from the other side and for this particular experiment we have to make sure that the room is dark i'll carry out the same procedure with the other water sample that is the tap water i'll place the beaker containing the tap water inside the cardboard box will throw the light from one hole and observe the clarity of water from the other hole we can use any other sample of water also for this particular practical water clarity aim to collect water from two different water bodies around you and study them for clarity materials required water samples from two different sites such as river water and tap water cardboard box with holes on two opposite sides torch two beakers theory water clarity has important implications for the diversity and productivity of aquatic life that a system can support the further sunlight can reach the the higher the water clarity the depth sunlight reaches is also known as the photic zone the clearer the water the deeper the photic zone and the greater the potential for photosynthetic production as clearer water allows more sunlight to reach submerged aquatic vegetation turbidity is the measure of relative clarity of a liquid turbidity is caused by particles suspended or dissolved in water that scatter light making the water appear cloudy particulate matter can include sediment especially clay and silt fine organic matter soluble colored organic compounds algae and other microscopic organisms procedure take a cardboard box and prepare the tindal setup from it to test turbidity tindal setup can be prepared by making a pencil size hole in the cardboard box and fixing a light source either the electric bulb or a torch or any other source of light place the beaker containing the samples of water one by one in the cardboard box make the laboratory dark and observe observation and result the tap water is clearer in comparison to the river water suspended particulate pollutants such as clay particles organic matter bacteria unicellular organisms may be observed precautions the two holes in the cardboard should be exactly opposite to each other The hole in the cardboard box should not be large. The light source should be of sufficient intensity. Why the questions? What are the causes of water pollution? What determines the turbidity of a water body? What is BOD, biological oxygen?